Does your ping look like this? 74,000 ping. That is crazy. Or does it look like this as well? 200. And 23, or even like this. Look at these crazy ping numbers. As well, today I'm going to show you how you can fix that literally the most easy way possible. Make sure you stick till the end because if you don't do this right, your internet could turn off completely. And we don't want that. We just want to sort out your really high ping. So, first of all, go to Google right now and search up something called speed test. So we need to find out how fast your internet connection is. It should come up with a little prompt like this that says internet speed test. So within 30 seconds, we can test the speed of our internet. So go ahead and click run speed test right here. And as you can see, I'm getting about 500 megabits per second right now. So that is really, really fast. That's download and this is upload speed right here. So if this is, let's say 10, 20, download and then your upload is really really low as well that means there is a problem with your internet but i'm going to show you how you can actually help this as well and this is the main one here as well which is latency which is six milliseconds for me which is really really good if yours says over 100 you really do need to stick around because this will really help you out if both of those connections are bad, it might be worth contacting the people who supply your internet. But we can do a few things like this right here to try and maybe fix this a little bit. So head over to settings in Windows, go down to network and internet, then head over to Ethernet right here. You guys, it might say Wi-Fi or Ethernet. It depends if you're plugged in directly to the internet, but I'm plugged in directly with a wire, which also helps being plugged into the internet rather than on Wi-Fi is always better through a direct cable connection. The first trick is to click configure firewall and security settings and then go ahead and click yes. Once this comes up, do not change any settings. Just make sure that these all have green ticks right here. If they don't, then there is an issue. And if you have an issue, comment that down below. So for the second one, these are very, very important. So make sure to follow all of these through with me. Next, go ahead and click this Windows button here and then search up Control Panel. And it should open a window that looks exactly like the one on my screen right now. Head over to Hardware and Sound like this and then click on Device Manager. So once you're on device manager right here, what I want you to do is go ahead and click network adapters. You might see a few here. So go from the top to the bottom and click on each individually and right click them and click update driver. Once this pops up, click on search automatically for drivers. And basically this goes through updating all your drivers, making sure you have the latest version. So if there is an issue, these will be updated to the latest version. Then for the final one, make sure you go over to settings in Google Chrome right here, like on my screen and head over to languages and make sure it is set to English United Kingdom and English United Kingdom or whatever country you are in. So Google Chrome knows to connect to those servers.